This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, March the 20th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and guess what happens today about 520 or so? Spring begins, <laughs> but don't put that winter coat away just yet. Let's take a look at our Skycam uh, network, and there is a beautiful shot of the restaurant and the lodge up there, the, the motel, hotel, whatever you want to call it, as the sun is peeking over the eastern horizon. How about another beautiful shot as we look out at Dauphin Island? We can see a few clouds down there over the Gulf of Mexico. And then how about the shot at Fayette? Boy, I really, that, that courthouse is just really cool. So, And at this time in the morning, it's a little hard to see some of those clouds. On our surface map, yep, we got a storm system headed our way. And boy, is that storm system wreaking havoc with Oklahoma, Missouri, parts of uh, Kansas with uh, winter storm warnings and four to eight inches of snow being forecast uh, in that area. The culprit in the upper atmosphere is this very strong uh, short wave that is moving through uh, the flow, and that is going to actually cut off a cold core low that's going to give us some problems, and Monday looks to be a bit of a raw day. Right now, this morning, temperature's rather mild. My gosh, look at that, 60s down in South Texas, and uh, of course, a 60 down at Key West, but it is re relatively mild all the way from Texas to New England, but still pretty chilly in the Rockies, and that colder air is coming our way that's going to give us a rather coolish day on Monday. Temperatures right now this morning across central Alabama generally in the lower 40s, but I'm sure some spots are dipping down into the upper 30s. Rain not visible anywhere really close, but we do see the precipitation out in Oklahoma, north central Texas, parts of northwestern Arkansas, and Missouri. And uh, mentioned the winter storm warnings, a lot of Oklahoma, the panhandle of Oklahoma and Texas, uh, surrounded by wind advisories, and then also uh, some uh, uh, weather advisories uh, out ahead, winter weather advisories out ahead of it, some flash flood, uh, just a, a variety of things going on out there. But uh, that area from uh, northwestern Arkansas across parts of uh, Oklahoma and up into Missouri and Kansas expecting four to eight inches of snow, perhaps even some higher amounts, especially in the mountains of uh, the northwestern uh, sections of, of uh, Arkansas. QPF-wise, uh, it looks like we're going to see some rain, but it uh, does look like the amounts will be down a little bit uh, on the order of about a half to one inch, I think, for uh, much of central and north Alabama. Storm Prediction Center is not specifically outlooking an area for a slight risk, but there is a small percent of wind and hail possibilities uh, down across the Southeast sections of Texas and the coastal area of uh, Louisiana primarily. All right, let's get to the 060 GFS model run. Here comes the low. This is Sunday, tomorrow at uh, midday, which is actually now 1 o'clock, now that we're on daylight savings time. Uh, but there is that closed low, and under that you can see the cold core nature of it. Surface low uh, in northeast Arkansas with uh, weather down our way. Looks like the primary Strong thunderstorms will stay down in the Gulf or along the Gulf Coast. By Monday, that low has uh, inched over to uh, about the area of Chattanooga, Rome area, Rome, Georgia, and uh, that is uh, then sweeping much of the heavier precipitation out into the Atlantic. However, because of the cold core nature of this upper low, we're looking at the possibility of some uh, scattered and isolated showers. And, you know, with this cold core system, perhaps the possibility we might even see a little bit of small hail. But we'll see how that happens. The closed low heads on up the mid-Atlantic states by Tuesday. And that returns us to a milder pattern as, it, as that cold core low heads on out of here. By Wednesday, we're certainly in good weather. The temperatures are returning back into the 60s, it looks like. Uh, perhaps even, you know, inching towards 70. The uh, pattern in the upper atmosphere by Thursday, we're still under a ridge, but here comes another short wave, not particularly strong, but it's beginning to get uh, together some, uh, a little bit of a surface low along with some precipitation. However, it looks like the moisture is somewhat limited with this whole system. So that little short wave moves on through the Mid-South on Friday, and that will bring us a chance for some showers. Looks like scattered showers. Doesn't look like any kind of really widespread 
rain event, but we will have scattered showers, and they just zip on through, paving the way for just an excellent Saturday, as once again, uh, we stay relatively mild, but perhaps just a hair below where we ought to be for uh, the latter part of March. Now, let's go out into Voodoo a little bit, and the uh, pattern's still pretty active. Uh, we stay under a ridge primarily at the end of the month, but a little short wave is moving through the flow uh, a little to our north, and that should drag some uh, precipitation our way on the end of the month. And then into April, April 3rd, whoa can you spell severe weather? Look at the, the uh, strong short wave, and under that, um, uh, quite a contrast between some mild weather over the southeast and uh, some very cold weather, uh, some cold air. So we'll stay tuned. But remember, this is Voodoo, so we'll keep watching that. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted uh, by 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Saturday and enjoy this warm weather, but don't put those winter coats away just yet. I'm Brian Peters. Hope that you have a great day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.